we need to click on this icon here which is the foreground select tool if we click on that we need to draw around the outside of the image so it doesn't have to be too neat obviously if you make it a little bit neater you probably get better results out of it so the background turns blue you still got some green there so what we need to do now is hold down the left mouse button and go around the inside of the image so what this should be doing is it should be picking up the colors that we're highlighting so we get some of the red in there some of the white some of the blue you don't want to go into the green area when you do this else you're going to get a lot of green on your final result so if we let go now just let GIMP do its thing and there we go so that removes the green screen so from this point you want to press the enter key on the keyboard which puts the dotted line around your subject you've got a few things you can do here we can go to select and you've got shrink so you can make this dotted line come more in onto your subject but what we'll do is very basic so what we need to do from this point is select an inverse so if we click that once and now you want to press the delete key on the keyboard and that will remove the green screen so we've got rid of the green screen now so most people want to put some kind of background picture on there so to do this you go to file open as layers now select a background that you've got on your PC so I'm just going to select that one there so as you can see the background layer has become the top layer which is what we don't want we want the picture of myself on the top so I'll select the layer move it down and there you are if you like the content that's been created on this channel please hit the subscribe button you'll find it in the bottom right of each of the videos